You're seeing at the same time some of the worst, most dire problems that we've ever faced as a species. And it, it's almost like it's all coming at us at once, you know, with GM crops and environmental disaster and the curtailing of our freedoms and, you know, just this police state that seems to be built brick by brick around our, our eyes, you know, while at the same time you have that, you also have this flowering of creativity and this blossoming of, of expression that, you know, really the internet has sort of fueled. It's now allowed people to be more self-expressed than they've ever been ever in, in the history of the world, you know, you never had this completely free, completely open, egalitarian medium through which you can express anything. It's not a coincidence that you have these horrible problems and then this huge amount of, of expression at the same time. I think that one is the result of, of the other, that because everything has to be in balance, you can't have a huge population of people that are that are coming up and becoming self-expressed and like creating new ideas and new dreams and not have something that's gonna balance that out. And that balance is, is you know, the government oppression that we're seeing right now, the unbridled corporate uh, authority, you know, the, the wholesale selling of entire nations to corporate interests and uh, private banks and things like that. I think that the two things are, are absolutely directly related. You know, it's the yin and the yang. You know, you can't have light without dark.